All right, what's going on everybody? This is gonna be a rapid art stream because I gotta leave in like 20 minutes, but uh, I've been wanting to do this and I wanna hurry up and actually make the game. So this time I made a little sketch as you can see right here. Um, and the idea is that uh, this should make it much quicker. This is gonna be the bard. Uh, and then I need to go ahead and do file. Wait, actually have I? Yeah, I need, so I need to open up a new character. Uh, basic, oh no, no, it's adult template. There we go. Okay, command shift save to save this as the bard. Oh, nice. Interesting, okay, so bard. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okie dokie. Then here we go. Let's go to our color palette and then Maybe I can just paste that in here. Yep, I can. All right. And then, that's weird. Usually this shows, but for some reason it's not. So that'd be really handy if I could put that uh, over there. In fact, I think I'm gonna try tracing some of this because it's it's actually pretty decent in the proportions. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the hair first. Okay, so we'll start right there. We'll show you the hat first. I'll do the hair first, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we'll do this. I'm actually gonna go just for some of the major apexes. All right, so like right there, uh, there, and then this should actually be one fluid line. It's not particularly important because it's gonna be hidden by the, uh, the hat once we get to the hat. Okay, and I'll bend this guy and do this this. Um, tracing is actually like pretty fun and uh, I do think it's helped me because I thought like the first thing I did was trace and then I kind of got a handle for these tools and you know what I should expect the, to be able to do with a lot of these things. So you know that's handy. All right, do that. I'll grab another one right here, put you right there and one more right there. Looking nice and smooth and curvy. Okay, cool. And then another one right here. Accentuate that. And then this, oops, use one more. This should go like that. And then uh, go over like that. Like this, like that. That's not quite what I wanted. There we go, okay, nice. Very, very nice. Okay, and then we'll do a little bit of this. And then, uh, should be able to, maybe this one? Yeah, grab like that. That does look a little sharp to me, but uh, I think that's kind of what is gonna have to happen here, because it's gonna be like kind of an abrupt thing. Well, obviously I'll be able to like change these up in a minute. I don't know if anyone's watching. Let me drag this over to my other screen so I can monitor that. But I'm not gonna be too observant in the chat today because as I said, I'm trying to knock this one out pretty quick. So let's see, let us see. So I'm gonna just kind of place these, oops, it was an accident, in the minor apexes of all these things. That, uh, yeah, that one will go like right there. Just to get this one out of the way, I'll do that. Add another one right there, put that one right there. Okay, and again, one right there, one right there. Okay, and then this one actually should go more in, like that. Okay, and then for this one, I'll put this at the base of the ear, wherever that may be. Cool, all right, so now let's fix this out. Fix this up. Okay, so that should go like that for sure. We want that to be a little smoother, that looks good. That, a lot of that's actually already looking pretty good there, which is crazy. It's crazy good. Okay, all right. This this is the part that needs a little, little worky work right there. And then we'll do 
little bit of that. Then obviously this needs to be a little sharper, so we can do something like this, like that. That looks nice. I'll move this whole thing up, teensy, teensy bit. All right, uh, and that can theoretically be the hair, although I'm also going to make this hair, but uh, that's like pretty simple. We're kind of just doing like that. I'll probably make some more curls and stuff uh, later. So, oopsies, wrong one. We're gonna go to Mecca here. I'm going to temporarily hide this guy. Uh, and then I'll take the hair here, and we can put it on his head, and then I'll resize it to make it fit. One of the magic ways is to literally just do that. <laughs> but uh, you don't want to do that too much, because then it's going to be a little too oblong, which we don't quite want. So that... How did I have this? Oh, this was all in front of his hair, wasn't it? Like, yeah, right there. Oh, uh, okay, I see. I see. All right. Um, so now what I'd like to do for actually, so first off, I do want to make it a little bit wider, like actually stretch it a tiny bit. I think that should do just fine there. Okay. And we'll have that kind of go over the ear a little bit like that. Um, and then now rather than stretch it even more, I'm going to do this. So we'll grab everything and kind of move it a little more like that. Okay. So we want this to be a little more kind of like, like that in the head. And then I'll fix these obviously. Uh, as we go, but for right now they, they look fine. Okay, um, and then I think that's actually okay. You're right. So that's that's going to be that bit of the hair. Getting a call from someone I don't know. All right, and then I'm I'm going to go ahead and just fill that. So I'm going to make him have dark hair. So we will fill this this color. Except I did not say late, so I need to do this. And then we do uh, maybe like that. I don't think I have. Yeah, so I gotta click on this one. Okay, and this is a random stroke I have here, the pressure gradient. So I'm gonna save this profile. Um, so that way I can go back up here, change this to uh, probably like 0.8, potentially a one. And then we'll add the, the random uh, profile and that just kind of gives it like a hand-drawn kind of look to it. I don't know if this is actually I think this is a little too dark So what we'll do is we'll make that that color and then make this that color All right, that looks pretty good. I might lighten that up in the future like here Still again not selecting it We'll see I think that might actually work a little bit, but we'll see 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 Okay, um, and then obviously that does not look fantastic. So what we're gonna do next is get this hat down. And uh, here, actually, let me do like an overlay. That's definitely not necessary. <laughs> Let's just take the opacity down to like 80% here so I can see. And then I think what I'm gonna try and do this time is actually like put it about right with the now he looks a little more like Cartman, but uh, a little more like with the head there. Okay, and we'll just make it the whole thing bigger. That, yeah, that's a little better of a look. All right, cool. And so if we do that, that should actually work out pretty well. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And then I'll we'll just do this. And then we'll just make the hat. So I'm gonna hide this for a sec, and then I'm gonna make our little hat here. So, Hmm. I think what I'll do is make this shape and then I'll make the back as its own shape. So I think that's going to be the easiest way to go about this. So we'll make one right there. And then I guess I'll make probably one like right there. And then we'll have this one come here and then we'll connect it. And I know that looks way too simple to make this shape, but uh, hang on. Hang on, folks. In fact, we'll go with this. Um, you can take these and we can adjust that right there and then we can adjust this one right there like that um, and then It's gonna give us a nice little bit. Oopsies. I'm gonna bring this down just a tad okay, We've got a little bit like that and a little bit like that so it's probably not necessary, but uh, it's helpful. Okay Okay, and then this one we can go a little something like that get that curvature and in fact, we're actually pretty close to the way that curve is supposed to be looking. There we go. Okay. And then for the hat, this one's definitely going to be filled with a notably lighter color, which is 
good. Actually, we should, whoop, I always do that. Okay, so I just want to do this just a tad so I get access to this. And then the idea would be to kind of make that work there. We'll bring this one back a little bit like that. Okay, I might bring that forward. One of the back. Okay, so there's the front port of the hat. The front port of the hat. Um, and then that one is going to definitely be like a much lighter color. So potentially that, maybe even that. Yeah, we'll make it that color. And then the outline, I'll make this color. Uh, I think that looks nice and hatty. <laughs> no, it's watch. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Got like 10 minutes left. I can do this. Um, okay, so I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make just this next, which might honestly be better done by just grabbing a circle, but we'll see. So we'll go something like that, and then we can go like that. Okay, probably a little more actually rotated, something like that. Okay. In fact, I'm, I'm just gonna do it this way. I think this will actually be notably easier. So do like that, like that. Okay, then back again. And then we'll grab one of these and pull it up like that. Okay. Make sure that that goes behind that. Not that that's extremely important right now, but uh, it will be. Just you wait. Okay. Wow, wow, we are. Okay. Very nice. The angle right. Looking good. Okay. Go and fill. The oopsies. There we go. Okay. So there's that part of the hat. And then we're just gonna get that part that I have right now. So we'll come here to that apex. Come, um, you know, like right there is probably good. Uh, and then we can just come like somewhere here. Okay, then we'll grab this. And then this one should be notably easier because we just need to kind of complete that. Uh, and then what we'll be able to do potentially uh, is just kind of round this off so it looks a little more natural. Cool, and then again, we'll put this all the way in the back there. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. So, the idea here is that that'll be a little darker, but I think we do want like a little, like smaller um, bit there that is uh, highlighted. Oh, so I think actually the way I'll do that is to just, I'll go like this, go like that, okay? And then I'm going to mimic that line pretty closely. Uh, I'll put this inside that, and then we'll make this uh, the lighter color there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the randomness. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of the randomness. And then we'll just increase the strength like that. Uh, in fact, I actually do want to add randomness. Goodbye. Do I really know? Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm not going to. But I'm going to do this, uh, and then you can take one side like this and kind of shrink that to give it a little more amorphity. It'll look like it's kind of shrinking as it goes further back. Uh, and then what we'll do is go to File, so I'm not File Layer, Expand Stroke. There it is. Okay, and now this creates a shape out of that. And then to that, we'll then add a stroke of this color. And then to that stroke, we'll make that one. One with the randomness. Uh, that's not supposed to be that color, it's supposed to be that color. Okay. But in fact, I actually do think that looks a little too thick. So I'm gonna bring this down to like maybe a 0.7. Yeah, it looks better for a little bit of inside detailing. And then potentially I'll even make the inside of this hat even darker, something like that. Uh, that's a little too much. I don't know, we'll come back to that. It's not super duper important to just, like get right down right now. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and group all these together. So there's our hat. Uh, and then I'm gonna draw the feather here. So the unfortunate thing about that is that I'm gonna have to move this down a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, sketching it out might be the way to go because this is much faster. Although I doubt I'm gonna finish everything <laughs> before uh, like 12.35, which is when I gotta leave for class. Um, okay, so let's 
go ahead and make this feather. Um, yeah, we'll do this, 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 this. I'm just gonna copy almost exactly what lines I've got there. Yeah, nice. Obviously that looks like a big old jumbled mess. Uh, I'm gonna make this maybe like this color. Eventually, this is going to be a red feather, and I think the outline should be a dock of red. Okay, I'll do a little bit like that. This should actually definitely go out more like that. Like that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Cool. And then this will be like that. Okay, so that one's actually okay, because this is going to be a, a, a bigger um, kind of gap as far as uh, they go here, but okay. Uh, the rest of these are going to be pretty tight, so something like that for sure. Okay, and then we'll have this come inward a little bit, and then this one is pretty good at the apex there, but then this one again is going to come in considerably like that, like that. If you wonder why I keep saying that, it's, it's from uh, Bobby Duke Arts on YouTube. Really cool artistic channel. All right, there we go. All right, that's looking good. Then what I'll do is, I think, just take these down a teensy bit so that they'll actually be below the rim, and then fix that so, because I pooped up the curve a little bit. I think I want that to be a little stronger. And we can bring that down like that. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah, that's looking good. So then we'll go ahead and fill that with the red. We'll make the hat appear. We can put that in front. Uh, and we'll put that inside the hat. We want it to go right there. All right. In fact, let me do a little bit of this. And we'll do a little bit of that. Like that should go like that, and I should go like this. I think maybe it's it's almost entirely to do with just okay. So that's what I originally had it at, and I think the problem is just that this looks not curvy enough. So I think I can fix that just by doing a little bit of this stuff. It looks pretty non-curvy, as does this. This also does not look super curvy here, which I would like to fix, ideally. I think that one actually, yeah, already looks better. That's cool though. Okay, so again, now I'm gonna select this, and then I'm going to, this is random, okay. So maybe I change it to one. Pretty thick outline. But uh, I think that's actually going to be good for our purposes here. And then rather than actually change the shape, I'm just going to move it like right that amount. All right. And there's our hat. So we can go ahead and make this guy oops, disappear. I have to leave in like five minutes, but okay. It's crazy. This must just really be uninteresting because nobody is sticking around. But okay. So now I've got that. Put that like right about there. Let's see, how does it look like on our man there? Pretty high up on the head. And his head, oh, his ears sticking out, but I'm gonna have it covering the ear, I think. We'll see, it does look very uh, interesting to have the... Maybe I'll just rotate this a tiny bit. I think that's a little better. All right, cool. And then we'll need to take the whole thing down. Oh, it's not even gonna fit on the frame. It's a big hat, man. Whoops, that hat's just a wee bit too big. It's gonna be the tallest character in the game for sure. All right, well, let's do it this way then. Let's move him so his feet are at least above 
that's a lot to move that. I was gonna move the hat down, but if I move the hat that far down, you're not gonna see. There's gonna be like no person left. That's not what I want. But that is a good educational thing for me, is that uh, by putting this further down, it definitely looked more feminine to me. Don't know exactly why, but the, it definitely did. So that's good to know. Okay, cool, so something like that. Um, and then I, I think I'm going to have it cover the ear. And then we do this with the hair, like that. Okay, and that all looks fine actually to me. And then the last bit of hair, or there's two bits, two more bits. One is a little just thing like this, and then just the, the back tuft of hair. So I'll go ahead and do the back tuft. At the very least, four dots. So that looks like it's coming like about that much. I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. Okay, and then I wanna make sure that that is behind the whole thing. So I think I'm gonna start, this is the head group, so I'll start putting things in the actual oopsies, correct places. So we'll put this here, and then we can hide this right now. I don't even think I need the trace to do these bits. But, um, okay, so we know that this is gonna be behind. We'll make this into that color, and then this into that. Actually, do we want this darker? Potentially we might want that darker, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Actually, okay, and then we'll go to our A tool, make a little bit of curvature here, uh, and then this will be a little curvature as well. I'll add another point right here, so that way I can do this and give this a little bit of uh, kind of like a little curl there, if you will. Okay, bring that out a little bit, and we can bring that in a little bit, kind of accentuate a little bit. All right, that's good for that, I think. I could make that bigger, but uh, I think I'm happy with that. And then now we're gonna have a little bit coming off here, as I did like right there. In fact, I think I will copy the like general curve of this, so that way I don't have to use any kind of creativity uh, at the moment. So, I mean, there's lots of ways to do this. You can see like sometimes I just do the apex. This time I'm gonna try doing something a little bit different, which is where I actually make all of it in at first. Um, actually, I am going to delete that one because this can be accomplished by doing something like, like this. Uh, oh yeah, this one I'm also going to change to that. Uh, and then at the apex, we definitely want a sharper one. So. First off, let me do this so I can get that out of the way mostly, actually. Then I'll add another one here so we can do that. And we can do this. We want this to be much thicker. Nice. All right. And then that's actually looking just fine the way that is. Although it does definitely look like I've got a little extra stuff. Yeah, yeah I added definitely added one more thing like this. So I could do, not that, but uh, kind of this. And then like that. Just as a little extra detail that no one will ever see. Okay. Nice. All right. And then this is just basically that, which is fine. And then we'll come to this and I'm actually gonna use our C tool here to kind of shrink that up a little bit. Um, nice, okay. And then I'll just fill that with the hair color. Actually, I'm gonna do that, because it's gonna be in the back. And I'll hide this, grab this one, put it on the same layer, uh, like that, like that, uh, and that one. And then we can stick it behind the ear, like so, and make any changes that we deem necessary. That looks good. And then I'm gonna take this, kind of bring it up like that. Okay, cool. Bring this down a little bit. All right, I mean, let's bring this in a little more like that. 
I think it looks pretty good for the, the head and, you know, kind of the first part. In fact, this one actually probably shouldn't be that darker, though, because it is going to be hitting the light there. It just kind of has a natural darker look to it, honestly. All right, so, and there's, like, the top. There's the hat uh, and the head. And then we'll get to working on the feet probably separately. For right now, I think what I will do is expand this so that the height, this is the X, this is the Y, make this like 600 pixels and I'll expand it from the top and that should give us some room to make the feet but that's actually all I had time for today so I have not finished this uh, I'll probably actually take this down and then edit it into the, the full thing now I'll just let this leave so this is going to be just the hat and hair and then I'll come back and finish everything else it's hilarious that I thought I could finish this in 20 minutes but hey some good progress so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have a great day